so happy. Uh, what was that? The dog's so happy. Your dog is? He's giving his paw. No, I'm so happy. Oh, gosh. He's giving his paw. Everything, because I got oh, so three happy. Oh, different things so going on here. All right. Uh, this is Magic the Gathering. I'm joined by... Oh, man. They changed the... They changed the Twitch interface. Um, I'm joined by that pinguino, uh, Gino, Grico. Thank you for joining me today. We're going to try and do a quick draft real quick. Uh, hopefully everybody can hear me in chat. Let me know yum yum or dog dog or MTGA. Whatever you got. Hopefully you can hear me. Folks, I'm also hopefully on a ball. Are you online? Are you? I don't see my friend. Oh, oh shit. You know what? I'm connected I'm not to the, online. I'm connected to the hey. work VPN. All right, let's also, do it. What are we doing today? Can you still hear um, multiples in chat? Let me know. Yum. Of him. We're just kind of echoey. People Very are... echoey. Uh, I don't know. That is... Ro You're doubled. Let me... Um, That's probably on my end. Let me go here and... Blop. Okay. Turn off one of these. Let's see what we got here now. Okay. Try this. This audio is somewhat terrible. Okay, I'm definitely... I've scored my gain as much as I can. Um, I I'm think Robo Voice. Still doubled. Hmm. Desktop audio. Bomb, bomb. You know Cortana. <laughs> oh, here we go. I think you got two of these here. Let's try this now okay. and see. Let me turn up also some game audio. Um. Oh. Try this. Still now. a Vocaloid. I think you just. Were, I think I had my uh, o, OBS set to double. Try talking more. Okay, I'm talking more. It's fixed. Okay, cool. Cool voice deactivated. Oh, I should have. I should have taken up this opportunity to become an excellent Japanese anime singer. Okay, uh, we're gonna do this real quick. We're gonna try. Let me uh, go ahead and hit record here as well. I'm gonna do that, and we can figure out some of this other stuff. But let me before I do that. You know what the mo most important part of any stream is? There we go. Now it's I'm ready to good. stream. It's five o'clock somewhere. I have a little beer in here. Uh, all right. Um. Okay, let me. If you have any more audio issues, it's probably your own fault. You should probably uh, take your computer and throw it in the trash. Been meaning to. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and hit start record, and we're going to intro this, and then we're going to do it. And I think we have uh, Ben up next, so we're going to take maybe an hour or so, and we're going to do it. Is everything okay in audio chat? Let me know in chat because uh, clap check. <laughs> clap check. I don't think it matters too much, but. Hopefully everything. Did I get really quiet? I can turn it back up. I don't know. I don't know. Audio is the worst part of streaming, man. It's always no, always bad for somebody, and they are so insistent that it's your fault, and then it mostly is. But all right, good now. Guess loud now. I, man, it's loud now. I turn you down a little bit. I guess I don't know. Let's. let's I didn't get too far from the mic. To me, you've sounded the same, and I've sounded the same. So I don't really know. Okay. I think we're just going to do... Oh, my God. The cat jumped now, in the window. We'll keep it wherever it is right now. Okay. Right, Thank I'm, you, DuckTales underscore Moon. I'm going to hit start recording. Uh, we're going to play about... An, uh, let's go ahead and hit start recording. How about that? One, two, three. And immediately I burp. I'm going to stop recording. <laughs> start recording. <laughs> it's professional. Professional. The guest is so loud. Um, you keep talking for a bit. How about that? Okay. I can... I can move away from the microphone. I I'm going to turn you down on my end, I think, and we'll sound all right. I think Professional that Wednesday. Good. Okay. Everyone, as, as soon as anybody says it's all good, I think that's what we, we kind of uh, have to. Yeah, it's perfect. So many, you guys nailed it. We nailed it. There are too many knobs on these things. Well, Zero says we nailed it. So, all right. You know. I'm going to start recording in three, it. two. Hello, everybody. It's Magic the Gathering Wednesdays here on Giant Palm. Uh, I'm Matthew Rory, and I'm joined by Gino Grico, that Pinguino uh, moderator extraordinaire on the site. Uh, we're going to be playing a little bit of draft today. Um, we got Ben up in an hour or so, so we're not going to go too, too far. But I've been waiting on a human draft. I've done one human draft. Excellent. I'm burping still, so <laughs> that's great. Here we are. Magic, The Gathering, Premier Draft, Ikoria, Lair of Behemoth. Be Behemoth. How do you say Behemoth? Behemoth? Behemoth. Okay. Behemoth? Yeah, that's how we do it. Behemoth? Uh, let me know in chat if audio is still weird. I'm going to try and stay about the same distance from the mic as I am right now. Uh, if you're not familiar with Magic, it's a game. 
Trading and card game. People like it. People have liked it for, oh God, almost, what, 27 years now it's been about? Uh, in the new uh, expansion, they added to Magic the Gathering Arena. They have human drafts. I'm going to go and put a ticket entry in here. And I'm going to go ahead and do a, a human draft. The big difference between human drafts and the old bot drafts is that humans are actually in the draft with you. And you're going to be passing packs back and forth. I'm going to claim that seat. We got one here. And I'm going to let you kind of guide my choices here. Uh, okay, let me try and view some outlines here before we get thrown into the table and are faced with picks. So, uh, Corey, I've done about 20-something drafts. Um, I've gotten to Diamond. That's a lot of Diamonds. Before. Pretty good. Um, set is kind of interesting because it might be one of the most complicated sets to draft that they've released outside of, like, the special Modern Masters, um, those special one-off sets in years. Um, there's a lot of synergies going on across all of the different color combinations Shit. and across all the different archetypes. Um, but the important thing to know is that the most powerful thing you can do is cycling. Yep. Um, uh, you so don't have any cycling payoffs here, though. There's a triome that's not the best thing to do for. You can rare draft you if win. you want to to fill up your collection, but this is not. I don't particularly like the triomes. Um, so let's take a look around and see what we got here. The old footfall crater might be a good one as a cycling thing but a lot of people do draft for cycling already i don't see a huge amount of cycling in here already so maybe we play so, counter from this pack i think the candidates for first pick are unbreakable bond and capture sphere and footfall crater if you're just going to go all in on cycling um i tend to go for unbreakable bond here because um there's a lot of cool reanimation synergies mm -hmm. that you can go for with that card capture sphere i find very replaceable unbreakable bond plus a cycle a big cycler is just it can win a lot of games so i'd go with unbreakable bond here all right i think so auto select is going to be so the triumphs if you're not familiar they've added triple lands in this oh shit it automatically picked it, Gotta pick Fuck. it. yeah it'll auto pick god and damn it well this is already going great um i have a triumph already it's fine rare rare traps <laughs> that's great all right so what do we got here uh, Here this... we've got Call of Death Dweller, Ch Chittering Harvester, and uh, Parcel Beast. Whoever went last took the rare. Uh, uh, Call of so... Death Dweller is probably the best pick here. Um, uh, what is this? So I already have black in the Triumph. That was a, It's getting off to a great start. First pick, forget about that pick. It's, yeah. it's a land. It's got cycling. We play it. We, maybe we don't. I think that at this point, Chittering Harvester is the best card in the pack. Um if you mutate Chittering Harvester, it is really, really strong. Um, if you can mutate it repeatedly, you can wipe your opponent's board. Um, it's probably one of the best mutate payoffs. It's top five, I'd say, outside of the rares and the mythics. Okay. It would probably go Chittering Harvester. It, do it doesn't commit you to a second color. Um, it leaves you open. Parcel Beast is really strong once you're in blue, green, but it's not outstanding right now. In most normal sets, Deadweight would be a super awesome card. Yeah. But in this set, Deadweight's just okay. Okay, let's go for Chittering then. Um, it's a big expensive one is the only thing. Uh, let's see what we got here now. Mystic Subduel. That's not bad. That's kind of removal. Um, okay. Mystic Subduel, actually very good card uh, in the set. Taking away creature's ability is super powerful. Zygoth Mamba is a great cycle, um, mutate synergy card. Uh, if you mutate on top of it, you give something a minus two, minus two. Um, but we've also got Ram Through, which is a really good yeah, it really uh, removal is. spell. And we also have Dranith Stinger, which is a great cycling card. So in here, um, I would debate between the Stinger, the Mamba, and Ram Through. Those would be my top three. I'm going to go maybe um, pick the black one for now. The black one for now, uh, for the Mamba, I think, you know, stay. I think that makes sense. Ram through is a great card. Bomb. Removal is so the old acronym is Beard Bombs, uh, Evasion, uh, whatever A is Removal, Removal, um, and then the other two letters which I forget. Let's go let's stick with black. I like kind of sticking with uh, certain colors and um, cool with that. I think Zagoth Mamba makes a lot of sense here. I would have probably gone I might just go Stinger because it's just such a good the cycling deck's just so good. Um, Pacifism okay, so. is a really good card here. Uh, that's a, a classic removal. Uh, super fantastic. If I want to open up to another color. There's still a lot of white in these decks, too. Blade Banish is pretty good as well. That's a big removal card. Uh, but Pacifism is kind of what you... Kind of the classic. Um, I'm going to go and stick that for sure. But let me let me know what you think about this pack. I think Pacifism 
if we had taken Dranith Stinger, I would really want the Marmoset here because mm -hmm. then we're getting into the cycling deck. I still see uh, Will Spale Ambush, so we've got one mana cyclers. Uh, the cycling deck might be open. I haven't seen a big payoff for it yet, though. Okay. Uh, Cavern Whisperer is a completely replaceable mutate card, but it is a or mutate card it would play nicely with our mamba and our chittering harvester mm -hmm. so hopefully that'll wheel to us we don't need to take it yet i think passivism is a perfectly okay pick right now yeah it's passivism premium is, removal spell yeah big we're big so we're gonna go pretty quick here because we're we are on a timer so we got oh magistrate that is a um interesting one to be passed this far down in a pack actually it's i don't know how, terrible in draft okay terrible in draft i know it's really good in um i think this is going to be banned in some forms uh coming up but uh not not for standard but all right what are we what are we looking at here um, so in this set i reconnaissance mission is a great card um that card can run away with games really quickly checkpoint officer is a nice solid tapper um honey mammoth if you're in like a rampy or strategy is okay i think reconnaissance mission is the most powerful card in this pack though two um, blue though it's gonna be gonna be interesting yeah, but we're not We've only picked four cards. We're so far, and one of them's a land. Okay. Three cards. So at this point, we're not really committed to any colors. And Reconnaissance mission has cycling too. So worst case scenario, you cycle it. All right. Um, we'll see I, what happens here. Point officer is okay. I just now it looks like we're somewhere in between um, cycling and, and something else. Okay, we've got migration path. That's a solid card. Capture fear. Solid removal. Thieving otter still here. That's cool. Um, Bushmeat Poacher, I love that card in um, human decks. Deadweight, really solid. Um, if we had taken that uh, reanimation spell in the first pack, I would have liked uh, Greater Sandworm. Here, I think I'd go with Deadweight. Um, just a solid removal spell in your color. Pretty classic removal. Uh, people are saying in chat that they'd take Sphere be still being here as a sign at this point. I don't think so. I don't think Capture Sphere is that good in this format. Honestly, um, it's a solid removal spell, but your mana to kill a thing is not actually necessarily how you want to spend your mana. Um, especially like pacifism already exists and it does almost everything but better. Uh, escape protocol, not very good. Um, about a very specific deck. I think here we go with the cavern uh, whisperer. Mutate card we talked cool. about earlier. Yep. Cavern whisperer, just a nice. And it's mutate. It plays well with the Mamba. Plays well with the Harvester. Gust of Wind. I that's very dependent on uh, having flyers. I use that a lot. In my flyers deck, but this is not a great a bounce. Is not going to do much. I mean, unless you can bounce. Even bouncing mutate creatures, though, they get them both back, so it's not that fantastic of a of a thing. This is a big body, though. Gloom Pangolin. Yeah, I I think you're actually Mysterious Egg. Yeah, probably the card we want. Um, it plays well with mutate. It's a card you mutate onto, and uh, it'll make your mutates stronger. Okay. Thing to get early. Good one drop, um, too. Yep. Garrison Cat, uh, I don't know about that in limited. You, you'll, you'll, I'm going to defer to you on most of this stuff. Um, yeah. Garrison Cat's actually pretty good if you get the human, like a black white sacrifice deck. I haven't seen any of the payoffs there yet. Um, but it's between the cat and the scorpion and pyroceratops. Like, we don't really have a red based. Nope. Like, spells deck. And so I don't think that that's going to be the pick. So I think it's between the scorpion and the cat. I'd take the cat because I, I really don't want to play the scorpion. Um, could see a world in which we play that. Or the mole. The mole is, is a solid card, too. Already done. Well, there's another exclamation mole here. Uh, but we're not playing all much green so far. Oh. We're near the end of the pack. Oh, man, there's not many good I think I'd go Frost Lynx here. We got a blue card. Frost Lynx is super nice in a Reconnaissance Mission deck. Um, now I don't think we know what our second color is. I think black we're pretty solidly in, um, but I think that the Lynx is, is probably the best of these remaining cards. So I'd just go with the Lynx. Let's try and see. Card's always solid. It's been printed like three times now, and every time it's just okay. Spring Jaw Trap is pretty good. Uh, it can, it's pretty expensive to do, but it is good removal. Uh, Garrison Cat, also a good choice. Hampering Snare, that's not so great. Uh, um, I think I'd just take the Snare. It cycles. It's totally mediocre, but it cycles. Um, I don't think we need a second Garrison Cat yet. I don't know that we're even white yet. I'd take a cycling card over something else. Destroy Target Enchantment. That's not, not terrible. Um, I think I'd just take the Caves. Honestly, it's best of one. Fell Caves, like 
I don't have a second color that I feel strongly about. I like the, the, the black that we have, but I don't love the blue. I don't love the white. So I just take the land. Maybe it makes our deck. Maybe it doesn't. Tigerilla, but I don't have any other red cards yet, but that's probably um, a bad... Mm, take something. the land again. Okay. I love Anticipate. think that if we take the land, um, now we've got a black-red. Now we've got a blue-red. That Bushmeat Poacher. Yes, last pick. That's so awesome. Take that thing. I could get Bushmeat the planes here, though. Sure, yeah. <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, okay. Is. Yes. Here we go. Okay. This is a uh, automatic kind of first pick. I need this oh, collection. Yeah. So, yes. This yeah. uh, mythic popping up in uh, draft is really, really important. This card is really good. And I think I have another one. So, I want to I want to get this for my collection, even if we don't wind up playing it. But this is probably worth a splash. Uh, Before you pick that, uh, mm -hmm. let me just go through some of the sure. other cards we got here. General Kudra, I think, is the pick here. Um, it and we already got some black white stuff going on so excellent uh back for more is an excellent card in black green if we had taken that reanimation spell earlier we would have been tilting more towards reanimate mm -hmm. and back for more is the payoff you want it's going to let you bring back your um worms it's going to let you bring back your titanox titanox rexes um there's also uh the black cycler that's an 8-8 so there's a bunch of payoffs in black green for cycling and then reanimating uh, other cards that are considerations, Night Squad Commando, uh, Dranus Stinger again. Those cards are all really nice. I'm not so going to be, even if we don't want up playing the uh, Mythic Rare, I'm going to be pretty happy with it. Colossification is really expensive, but I already have four of those. Fun. And, so take a look. Volf Keats, not bad. Pretty cheap as a mutate target with flying, obviously. Uh, Ram Through is also pretty good here. I think that here we probably want Easy Prey. Yeah. It's a removal spell with cycling. Um, Snare Tactician, I think, is another uh, chill pick. Or Whisper Squad. Because now you've got this black-white. Um, you want to get your human count up. Yep. Like your yep. um, cycling and your humans is probably going to take priority over some of the earlier mutate cards that we got. But I think Easy Prey is a nice safe pick. Colossification is so much fun, though. It's really difficult to cast, especially since we don't have any green yet, but I, I do have a, like somebody said in chat, it's a Timmy card for sure. It's plus 20, plus 20, but they do have a, a turn to uh, react to it, which is always the dangerous thing. Either you win the game or you lose spectacularly. So this is a interesting kind of, it's white uh, Huntmaster Liger. I don't see that too much, but take a look here. Brushwag is, I think we were so heavily one drop. Near Tactician. What was that? I think we want Snare Tactician or Evolving Wilds here. I'd lean towards Snare Tactician. Okay. It's just a really powerful card. Got a, a decent number of Cyclers already. Perrin, if we had gone more Mutate. If you want to play the... Um, I want some humans for sure. General Kudro. Yeah, so I, I'd go Snare Tactician. Let's try and lean towards that. We've still got like half the fixins for a blue-black Mutate deck, but I think that... Uh, the humans white black deck is just a better deck and where we'd rather we'd be happier ending up there uh just to be clear i don't know what i'm doing so i'm gonna I'd be, if you're in chat like wondering what i'm talking about i i don't play draft very often i mostly st standard let's see what we got here uh blitz of the thunder rafter another human here that's not terrible. squad marshall a squad yeah, marshal is not, a good one it terrible. gives us two human bodies we haven't gotten any of the big human payoffs except for general kudro but if we see any mutual destructions if we see um uh, what's the bash? There's a card that it makes a one-one, and whenever one of your creatures dies, um, you drain your opponent for one. It's something Bastion. Um, there's also uh, oh yeah, an the enchantment. enchantment, yeah, enchantment that gives all humans plus one plus one. So those are the types of things we're going to be looking out for. Garrison Cat now becomes a more useful card. Um, using that higher than we did before. Bastion of Remembrance. That's it. Yeah. So we're looking out for the black enchantment, the white and. The black death enchantment, the white human enchantment. Ooh, death touch. How did I get Void Beckoner down here? This is a pretty... Well, if we're going black, I got to say, that might be a, a yeah. choice here. Yeah, I'm gonna Void go... Beckoner is a great choice. That's the card that I was mentioning earlier when I was talking about a reanimation. I think Void Invader or <laughs> Death Corona. Did you hear about yeah, this card's death alternate Corona. name? Yep. They had to change it. That's going to be a very expensive... Uh, a card because they did, they did ship some and they can't they didn't recall them so they they did have a few of these out there called Space Godzilla Death Corona, um, and, and they they have been printed. 
He put out the most 2020 new press release I've ever seen. Like, we are Magic the Gathering apologizes for Space Godzilla Death Corona. <laughs> Uh, this card I'm not a huge fan of. It's, it fits in our colors a little bit, Ooh. but um, it's, it's... I love Death's Oasis. Yeah, it's not bad. It's bad for, I think, for, for standard, but I'll, I'll defer to you here on what we get. Dark Bargain. Eh. I think that the Checkpoint Officer now. Now we want the Checkpoint Officer. Yeah, yeah. I, lo I love tapping effects in these kind of uh, situations. Tapping doesn't always seem like a super powerful thing, but it's it has won me some games. What's that white uh, adventure creature that has tapping? It's... Uh, uh, go, it's like David and Goliath oh, kind um, of thing. It's the one that cuts down the giant. Yeah, yeah, giant killer. I think it's giant, like, giant killer. Yeah. Another Mamba. Spang Mentor is another good pick. Blade Banish, totally fine. Uh, the Mamba. Mamba seems like it might down be down in value. Blitz Leech is just kind of medium. Um, I think I lean towards. Mm, I it, it's between the Leech and the Mamba. Um. The Mamba has a higher upside. The, ble the Leech has a higher floor. Um, we only really have two mutators, so I think we want the Leech. Okay. All right, got pack two, pick eight. Call the Death Dweller. That's not bad. It's still, uh, we do have Deadweight as well. Um, there's some good cards here. The Death Dweller and Deadweight still. I think I'd go Deadweight. Yeah, me take too. the take the quality removal. Um. Nated charge is suffocating fumes, man. That's good for weenies, but you don't know how many cards that's gonna hit anytime. Yeah, if we get if we got any of the good like token producers, coordinated charge goes very well in the human deck. Um I, I found that Call of the Death Dweller generally just gets you back a three three and that's just the medium. Ooh, we've got another Whisper Squad. And the Patagia Tiger. So the Tiger plays really nicely with humans, but the uh, Whisper Squad makes you humans. So, but here I think it's between the Tiger and the Whisper Squad. Flyers seem like uh, a good idea, and I need more stuff at the top end of my curve. I'm going to go and just uh, take that one yeah. for now. We'll see. Yeah. Is Whisper Squad, you don't ah, want them unless you get like three. Yeah, yeah grab well, this Whisper of course, Squad. Of course, there's another one right here. It's fine. I mean, if we get, end up with three, we end up with three. I don't really love Whisper Squad, but it's totally fine. We haven't gotten the great black payoffs for having a bunch of tiny dorks. The only one we got is General Kudro. Uh, yeah, Kudro is just a good pickup for, for my other deck building, not even just this draft, because you do keep all these cards for Light of Hope. Uh, enchantment's not very big here. I think Unlikely Aid. Yeah. It's, it's a just solid... Secret Art's not terrible, but it's also not a huge payoff for, for what no, you get. You want it in the Escape Protocol deck. You just flicker it and draw cards a bunch. Um, it's Katigan. also okay in the Spells deck. Serena's so not um, bad, but it's tough to... It's better in a Sacrifice kind of thing. Uh, grab the cat. Yeah. Kitty makes a human when it dies. We really want Mutual Destruction badly. Like, uh, just grab the land. Yeah, yeah. Corpse turn, dark bargain. Ooh, kind of the same, um, similar effects. I think dark. Eh, one's just raw value. One's recurring stuff. I got a planes. It's I got a planes. Bargain. Watch out! I got a planes. All right, let's see what's in this last pack here. Slither Wisp. Hmm. I don't think that's going doesn't to go be... great. In our yeah. Oh, sanctuary lockdown. We want lockdown. There we go. It's a lockdown, baby. Hey, that's not bad at all. It's a lockdown, baby. We want lockdown here. It's going to make all of our humans much better. Blood Curdle is the other uh, contestant for the pick. We might be able to see another Blood Curdle, but we we need every single Sanctuary lockdown we want. All right. Well, let's just, uh, confirm this real quick. Let's see what we got. Slither Wisp, another great card. If we had stayed on the uh, blue black train. That would have been a great payoff. Sea Dasher Octopus. There's another great payoff if we were in blue back. Oh my goodness. Yeah, not much. Uh, man, not much. Blue. Man, not much. The cards we could pick are still Wild Capador and unlikely aid in this pack. Flying is not too bad. Um, I'm going to go and kick that here. You quick. might just want to take the Octopus and rare draft it, honestly. I oh, don't yeah. Know yeah. We're going to play any of these cards. Yeah. Just rare draft the Octopus okay. here. It's your call, I mean. Ooh, Godzilla. Gojira. He's also on Oh, man. Dark if we Bargain. Re Dead weight. The animator stuff. Dead weight's 
pretty decent as a common choice. I'm going to click that, but let me know if you have any other thoughts. Yeah, I think dead weight is the choice here. We're pretty much locked into black and white, so I'm not going to be too mad about it. Yeah, but we're getting cut on oh, Lutri. Uh, white I pretty think hard. I already have I some Lutris. He's already banned in Brawl, so I don't think I need that. But Vigilance, 1 4. That's not bad. That's a big body. Um, um, I would take the Poacher here. It's some sack effects. It's okay. a human. Um, yeah, we're. Ozolith is a terrible, definitely more open. terrible uh, pick for limited, but I, I, I wouldn't say it's terrible, but getting counters is such a uh, tough thing to expect. Um, stuff can and coming Night Bonder, and Flash was wide open. Divine okay, Arrow is so okay. Arrow's okay. Howl Bonder's okay. Night Bonder also okay. Um, they're both humans. Um, I think between these, Howl Bonder is really hard to block. Night Bonder yep. is a little bit harder on the color requirements, so I, I might just take the Howl Bonder. Yeah, it seems um, like a, a good a good deal. Divine Arrow again, Spontaneous Flight. Flying Counter is kind of a great deal. So I many think dead weights. We have enough dead weight. Yeah, we have already yeah. three. I think that's probably enough. We might not even play all those. Um, I'm gonna think, go for a spontaneous unless you have other uh, other ideas. I think divine arrow. I think it's divine yep. arrow is yeah, the pick. Removal is probably pretty good. Then flight. Yeah, divine arrow. It'll take out most of the things. You've got a bunch of tiny little dudes. Spontaneous flight. If you had bigger creatures, it's better because then you give them flying and they take you the distance. You're trying to swarm with a bunch of little dudes. We got no mutual destructions. Oh God, ultimatums. These are impossible to play in limited. So I'm gonna especially that, that one for us. Yeah. Uh, Exile creature blade banish is not bad. Uh, that's probably Take blade the, banish. Yeah, here. definitely the best thing here. The main serval optional. So I'm just yeah. happy we got a mythic man. I've had such bad luck with mythics in this uh, this whole set. Uh, if you're just joining us, we're playing a little uh, magic draft. Uh, ben will be up later with Fallout Two. Um, we're gonna do what we go. Oh, God damn, that's expensive as shit. Wow. But I guess you can Maybe kill drunk. two two opponents' creatures with that, um, which is not too terrible. What do you have here? Coordinated. I've charge. had a hard time getting max value out of Clash of Titans unless my opponent has something with uh, Death Touch. Yeah. Well, I'm We've not seeing much else here charge. except for Charge. We probably won't play it, but um, we'll see. It does have cycling? They, yeah, nobody wants that Slither Wisp. Uh, Slither Wisp. Shimmer. Rare draft that thing. Hmm. I'll grab that Slither Wisp. Just rare draft it. You're not playing any of these cards. Yeah, I don't think. It's that rare. Watch it up. We might have been in a better spot if we just went black, blue. That mythic kind of pulled us hard into I, humans. I, I'm not even super mad about it. If I lose every game this time, it's it's not. I'm not going to be too mad. I, Mythic uh, comes up so rarely for me these days that I, I I do can I can see myself building a deck around Kudro. I've seen a few of them. He's pretty powerful. Uh, nothing here for us for the most part. Um, Another capture sphere going super late. Just grab it. Yeah, might as well. Yes, I don't know. Capture sphere is fine. Zombie pie is yelling at you in chat. I don't know which story he wants me to tell. Uh, I have uninstalled Arena from all of my computers recently because. Have you played much of this standard, this current standard? Yeah, it's it's uh, super frustrating, but if you can get some good jank stuff, I got to gold. I, I kind of have stopped after that. It's it's you really are some super powerful, crazy decks out there. There's a human here. I'm gonna go and grab that. Um, yes, yeah, grab that it's human. it's not super fun. It's I I still play every day a lot for like an hour probably, but it's it's a lot of uh, weird stuff going on. So yeah, I got up to. I, not diamond up to platinum and um i just found that playing against the companions over and over and over again it just gets real old real fast i, I tried so many different decks have you played any against um jeskai yurion the kind of deck of the moment i have not i'm with the deck of course i'm still there what are you talking about weird. sorry it gave me a weird yeah i'm obviously still here i don't know what that was um, let me use the restroom real quick, and we can start uh, narrowing down some of the choices here. I'll let you talk. How about that? Sure. Um, so, yeah, I, it, it, the deck just cheats out an agent of treachery and steals all your lands. 
fun. So ZP wants me to tell the story about how his uncle walked away from magic. Um, so ZP, you might have to help me here, but if I remember correctly, his uncle was owned a bunch of magic cars and power nine and uh, lotuses and all that sort of stuff some moxen and um they eventually i think it was the banning of some of the super powerful cards made him feel like the game had changed and left him behind and so he sold every, yeah he had two complete sets of alpha one set of be uh, beta arabian knights moxen and power nine and he uh did not like that like rotation or like bans had happened and it had changed the game so instead of just saying oh i've got hundreds of potentially thousands of dollars here uh, i'm gonna sell at this point and then once he sold it uh he sold almost everything like a few years after magic had come out and just lost all that value and uh, never looked back so yeah um don't don't get too mad. Like, sometimes hold on to your things. Though, right now, I would say that Paper Magic is in a really bad spot. So maybe now is not the time to invest in that stuff. But if you had... If uh, ZP's uncle had fought through, he would have uh, probably a retirement fund. Yeah, I would not invest in companions. Not, not one bit. It's an interesting spot that Magic's in right now. Like, a lot of the best decks... It feels like how modern can feel sometimes where there's a bunch of decks that just are two ships passing in the night. They don't interact with each other. Yeah. They don't even care what the other player is playing because you're just both trying to do your broken thing as fast as possible. And the types of broken things that people are doing right now are extra, extra broken, like stealing all your lands very quickly, um, going straight to the face with your um, Zenith flares, like just cycling and ignoring your opponents out of the board. Um, wilderness Reclamation, you just double your mana on turn four. Like, at least four or five different ways to double your mana on turns four or five. Uh, and it, it's hard to have a really fun, balanced, interactive format when one player can just go, oops, now I make quadruple the mana, um, and I just completely cheat on the rules of magic. Um, it invalidates all the early turns. The early turns feel like, uh, like a gentleman's agreement not to anything that matters. Okay, let's get this deck done. We can play a round or two, uh, and then we can maybe do a, a, a some. Maybe we can oh. play some stuff against people if anybody wants to join online. So I'm gonna go and just get rid of all the blues, right? Yes, let's get rid of all the blue cards. Uh, Cunning Night Bonder is not blue though. Shit, well, that card can stay in. That's not there. Uh, Cunning Reconnaissance Mission. Yeah, let's get rid of Slither Wisp. Get rid of the Crystal. Get rid of Reconnaissance Mission. Steer's egg. All the stuff is in here. Still uh, 48 out of 40. We'll have to redo all the blood. Scroll down. Caves. We've got some blue, Water. some green cards. Red, white. Um, I don't think I need that. Forest gone. Triome's I, gone. I would leave the triome in. Really? I think the triome is better. You're already in black, white. So yeah, turn off. Now yeah. it's just the cycling yeah, I didn't see that part. Uh, all right. Um, Part of the giraffarid. Aphid, the flycatcher. Green card. Okay, yeah. 44 out of 40. Oh, uh, gosh. I can't coordinate the charge. Get rid of Whisper Squad? Okay, yeah, if there's only one. Whisper Squad's no good. So one Whisper Squad. Um, I don't know that we want the Mysterious Egg. Yeah, we are not. We don't have many mutate targets except for... God, do we even have... I don't... Got, we've got the two we took really early. Yeah, but I, think I think that's about it. But yeah, the Whisper Squad, Mysterious Egg is just going to be a, a little body. Uh, let's see what we got here. Deadweight, Garrison Squad, Mamba. All these cards are pretty good early on. Pardon my yeah, French. Yeah, the Mamba is... I mean, we don't have a lot of targets for mutating. Like, literally, we don't have anything to mutate yeah. on. So, I might just get rid of the Mamba and the... Um, to mutate guys because we don't have anywhere to put them and now we're just all in on humans yeah so there's yeah if you're not familiar with mutate we can't actually mutate onto uh human uh cards at all so they won't be able to hit anything so blitz leech is still there that's the take out burn whisper leave in the harvester you you need 40 cards so i'd yeah. leave in the harvester um the harvester is at least better than actual nothing the harvester there we go. 
another alternative would be like, oh, Day Squad Marshal needs to be in here. Oh, sure. Day Squad Marshal. I don't know why I hit him. Real good. So now we can get rid of was that card we just added back that wasn't great. Uh, Har Harvester. And now we can remove the Harvester. Void Beckoner is a man. If I get this down, it's really tough. Uh, even if I cycle, Death Touch is still pretty powerful. So we got to leave that in there. Uh, a three mana for a, putting a Death Touch counter is pretty good. Um, We're in an okay spot here. We've got our deck. Do we need um, more land? We only have oh. uh, 14 right now. We need Wait, about 14? 18, right? Yeah, yeah we, need, we need at least six, 16. Okay. We did cut some more then. Um, let's scroll 14. I thought we were at, um, there was, I thought we uh, were at the 17 that they preset you to. Uh, yeah, I took out a bunch of the, the cards that had, uh, other colors that we don't need. 14 so lands. I've done this a bunch of times with cycling, but I, uh, I don't recommend it in straight humans deck. All right. So we have now seven, okay, nine, 16, 17. We've got 17 lands. We have seven, eight. I think 17 is fine, actually. Okay. So we have 42. We got to get rid of some stuff. I'm going to go look at the top end because we have a pretty high end of the, some of these stuff. Um, Patag Patagia Tiger is not terrible. It's expensive for that what you'd get. Pumps humans, and it's it's a flyer. It's it's pretty okay. I think that your man Serval, the 1-4, who? Really? I, I like this body. I mean, it's a big blocker early on. I don't love. I think with this deck, we're not trying to block. Okay, I mean, it's also not a human. So, yeah, divine arrow has to stay. Um, pacifism has to stay. Easy prey, probably really, really uh, easy choice to keep. Um, Cut unlikely, one unlikely aid. Yeah, I think also I was gonna say that too. So we have take a look at this deck and see what you think. Uh, can we check the land count? Is it sixteen or seventeen? We have one, seven, eight, fifteen, sixteen lands we can potentially get away with it let's see what happens i think we can get away with it let's rock 16 it's All okay right. done it's okay we can always edit it later shall we uh try to play this let's go let's wreck some fools curve i limited is so bizarre this and brawl i mean it it really depends on what you get your opening hand it's such kind of a luck of the draw. I mean, obviously, drafting is a, a skill that I'm not very good at, but it really is kind of a, one of those things where if your opponent has just a better opening hand, no matter what they've... Let's see, Blade Vanish. Oh, man, this is expensive, but I got Sanctuary Lockdown in the first hand, so I'm thinking maybe I have to take this. We've got Sanctuary Lockdown. We've got Dead Weight. We've got Blade Vanish. We've got early plays. I, I don't think that we're going to get run over with that Dead Weight, so I'd keep this. Take a look. All right. A swamp they do dark bargain gonna play down my thing here and we'll see what happens mm. not a lot of early good plays here for us drawn but we'll see what we pull let's play okay. something to to dead weight i'll go and play down the sanctuary lockdown i guess for now that's all we got basically all i can do then hopefully they play something to dead weight. Hopefully we draw a land. Dark Bargain's a really nice card here. We've got full of removal. Advantage. And one. No shit. Two, four trip. vigilance. That's not good. Oh, that that's thing's really, annoying. really, really not good. That thing's um, really annoying. Shit, this sucks. Um, I can't play anything. You can just drop a dead weight on that dude. Then he's not attacking you. Oh, yeah, yeah. If you're in any damage. True. I always think of Deadweight as a killer spell rather than um, anything else, but yeah, that's basically the only play I have, so. Just extend the game. He's still going to get one life every turn, though, is the only thing. Uh, which it's annoying, is, but it's no, that's going to happen. Again, we Little have some here. Ben coming up. Oh, destroy target enchantment. Okay, all right. Well, well done. That's weird to play that's a pretty decent card i guess but enchantment uh removal is not super effective in this limited set but i guess he he bet the odds and did well bronze people make weird choices uh, for some reason they decided to destroy your dead weight instead of your sanctuary lockdown that's so what do you have divine arrow more? 
Uh, just oh. pass. Okay, yeah. So wait till they attack you. That's all I can really do. Anyways, I am not pulling lands, so. Attack okay. you, you divine arrow that thing, and screwed on mana too. Oh, another card with vigilance. No, wait. Aw. Already done. You Sorry. hate to see it. I just. Okay. Awesome. Fuck. Well, Third of you have lands. Really not getting anything, so I'm gonna start discarding pretty soon. This is magic sometimes. Sometimes neither player gets to play any cards. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go. All right, Volpkeet. Now it's got flying and vigilance, and it's gonna be very powerful. So this is gonna be a tough one to do. If I can get Blade Banish down, ah, uh, fuck. How big is this thing? It's gonna be a three power. Gonna dodge your Blade Banish. Okay. Well. Awesome. Think they put Man's Serval on top. Okay, it's a 2-4. Okay, this is going to take forever, I guess. Shit, fuck. Well, okay. Fine. I mean, you've got plenty of dead weights. Snare Tactician, there we go. The card that you can cast. Um, And next turn, you can attack and then unlikely aid it and eat their Serval if you want to. Yeah, maybe. Is that an instant? It is, isn't it? Oh, it is. Good. I don't know why they did this the way they did. Sure did. But we're in bronze, so weird stuff happens in bronze. Um, comes the serval. Hopefully you draw land and you can play your bushmeat poacher. Nope. But, okay. okay. Uh, what, I guess I might as well attack did... and see what they block yeah. with, right? Attack, see if they block don't block you in for three if they do block you unlikely aid them and blow them out and then you play the garrison cat nope okay get in and then uh, play the cat that's it and you've got unlikely aid here so if you want to eat up the day squad marshal you can boy. Um, hmm. well that's a blade banish okay. target if I ever get another goddamn land it's only until end of turn Okay, well, fortunately. They, they might kill you because you don't draw land. Yeah, that's what happens sometimes. This is magic sometimes. I think we were in a pretty good spot and we didn't draw fourth land. So, okay, we up a land in the deck. All yes. right, what do we got here now? Um, I'm going to die next turn probably if they have anything else to do. But, um, gosh, I don't think there's much I can do. I don't um, see many outs here. Poacher. Play the poacher. Play the poacher so that you've got... Um, you can start gaining life. Mm. I can attack with a snare and then uh, sacrifice him probably. But that would be next turn, so... Because uh, you want the check the checkpoint officer is going to tap something down. So just attack yeah, on well. defense. Like, it's land drops. Attack. Just it's not looking good. All attack. Did we attack with everything? What was that? We attack with everything. We shouldn't have attacked with anything. I thought you said attack with everything because he'll attack. No, no, no. Tap it. Don't attack. Don't attack with anything. I thought you said to attack with everything because he will tap it anyways. Oh, I was saying don't do it. Don't. Okay. It doesn't well, matter. We would have lost anyway. No, it doesn't matter. This is how good I am at magic. I'm pretty, pretty good. Uh, except when I'm not good, which is most of the time. Oh, the don't was cut off. Okay. Sorry. I tell you, I didn't, I didn't hear that part. So let's, let's try this again. Again, you know what? I got a mythic rare out of this. It's not bad. I mean, uh, we didn't get lands. Like there was, didn't do anything wrong. You kept yeah. a keepable hand, and then you didn't draw lands. Let's try one more, and then uh, we can um, maybe play. So you, do you said you uninstalled Magic Arena from everything? I did. did. Why? Because um, I was not enjoying the standard at all. Mm -hmm. and I was playing too much. Okay. I keep seven. I think, yeah, I keep this seven like, here. It's fine. Yeah, we got, you keep this. We got, we got, uh, again, this is the, the land thing. If I don't get lands, I'm going to be boned, but I at least have a few early draws and early casts. Hey, multiple, multiple early kitties. If we got a target for easy prey. If we don't, we can cycle it. That's the nice thing. Uh, I heard that was Wizards of the Coast really screws over their artists. I haven't heard that at all. I, I, I feel like they... I think there was some weird stuff. Oh, gosh. Cathartic Reunion. That's an interesting card in... Uh, 
Um, I've, I've heard that most of the time they respect their artists pretty well. I think there was one kind of controversy with somebody who, uh, who ha oh, Easy Prey, Unlucky yeah. Aid, I'm going to yeah. Gary Cat, yeah. Um, there was a, a, a lady who had an issue with, I forget the whole thing, but there was, there was some controversy with where she was left out of the dry, but I think they, they came back and made it right, and I think it was a little overblown. But I, as far as I know, they, oh man, here we go. Oh boy. Death touch? No, that's, that's terrible. Oh. I guess it's attack for now. Attack, and then uh, at the end of their turn, if they don't play anything, just cycle easy prey. Check with everything, and then get to the point where easy prey is not going to have any good targets. We just cycle it. Excellent. Uh, you should, in general, look to attack, then make plays after combat. I know, and I don't do that because I am really dumb. I'm, uh, I'm not, I'm not a very good. Okay, this is going to be an easy prey target. That's instant. Uh, right? It's just cost two or less, right? Yeah, it's two or less. So might cost. as well get so rid of the body, right? Can't. It's converted mana cost three. Was that? Oh, converted mana cost. I thought that was power or less. That's not power. All right. Uh, go and cycle this, then I guess. I don't think they're going to give us a MC2 less yeah, target, cycle. so let's just cycle it. Check one off. Oh, someone says, what is cycling? Is that a new mechanic? No, cycling is actually a very, very old time. mechanic. So um, I have... Cycling... Uh, Sondra's Howl Bonder can be, uh, can't be blocked at this point, and won't be able to block until they get two more creatures down. I think maybe this is a smart play, right? Oh, no, no, no. I would attack with the cat first, see if they block. If they block, unlikely aid, kill their frost links. Okay. If they don't block, then you play the Howl Bonder. All right. They did. Get, okay. Three aid. Eat that thing. Check one officer. Looking pretty good so far. We'll see what happens. Pull up their, their kitty cat. Nice. Okay. Let's drop that planes, attack with everything, and then Did play they the pass? Hellbonder. I was I was Did. looking at chat for like two seconds. So attack with attack everything. with everything, play right. the Hellbonder. They might be mana screwed too. I feel bad for them, but I don't really man. feel too bad for them, so. Take the win. So the Hellbonder is going to basically be unblockable. Um, yeah, and unless I get some. Oh, you're going to play a land? Nope. Uh, oh, I feel bad. I don't feel seed. that bad though. Uh, they might. They might just. Yeah, they, they're at the point where they have to discard now. So. Um, what cards do they have in their deck? They playing the recommend. The doctor recommended forty cards. It looks like thirty-two. Yeah. Okay. Looks like. Yeah. Sometimes I will hover over someone's deck when they haven't played a land in a while, and it's like. 60 cards. I'm not too not far off from being able to play Space Godzilla, so. And I got Blade Banished too, so I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about this. I can tap it out there. They got to land, so we'll see what they play. It's not over yet. Oh, holy shit. They got that fucking Vadrock. Wow, that is a heck of a goddamn. Vadrock's okay. It's, it's, I want to build a deck around this card. Um, Wish it was better. I, I'm flying for a strike, though. Ooh, boy. Uh, I want him to mutate so, so I can man. blade banish him. Let's just... But we're just going to tap it down with checkpoint, officer. I have a blitz leech. Um, remove all counters. Oh, uh, negative two, negative two. So I can I mean, do... Gonna oh, let's next level them. So let's attack with everything. Yeah, and, and then, then when they blitz block leech. with that drop, okay, yeah. you're going to block the yeah. checkpoint officer and then you blitz leech him. Them. If they block one of your cats, who cares? Flash in for it. this it. Yes. is done. That's a heck of a. Oh boy. Oh, that's gonna feel so bad. Oh man. Absolute goob. <laughs> I, I feel a little bad. Imagine getting a fucking mythic rare and then having him lose to that. That's that's really fun. On my end, solid footing. Okay, he's got vigilance and plus one plus one. So he's dealing okay. damage. He's going to be a... F oh, well, okay, there we go. It's fine, but uh, just attack with everything and then... No, nah, not needed. Face Godzilla. Unneeded. Yeah. 
Um, Ben, if you, I can see Ben's in chat, let's play one more if you don't mind, Ben, and we'll, uh, oh, I got some rewards here. Let's play one more and we'll, uh, we'll hand it over to Ben here because I did say we'll be done by five. Um, unfortunately, somebody before me, um, said they'd be done by four and they weren't done by four. And it's kind of one of those things where you don't really have to, uh, I don't know, I'm not going to name names, but somebody was trying to play more Jan Bourne. I and uh, they didn't get done in Hands time. With pan. So. What was going on? What's that? Hands with pan. Uh, if you're watching right now, Roku, I know, is an issue. Uh, we are trying to work on the Roku issues, but uh, it's still being worked on. I apologize for that. Roku. People who have Exist. Rokus are very, very, very big on the Rokus. And I, I get the fact that Roku's not working right now. We're, we are trying our best to get that figured out. Deadweight, deadweight, coordinated charge. Unlikely aid. Um, yeah, keep I, this. Keep this hand. Yeah, I have no actual right. creatures, though, is the only thing. So. It's fine. We got we got two early plays in the deadweights. Uh, just play the triome. Oh, really? Early. Oh, shit. You're right. Fuck. I'll, I'll play it's it fine. now. How about that? Big deal. Play just drop the triome. I might get mana flooded here. We'll see. See. Ooh boy. Yeah, I was. <laughs> I'm I'm getting flooded. Okay. Great. I have no creatures okay. to put down, but play a land. We can cycle coordinated charge also. I would yeah, just path. Yeah, might as well. Uh, yeah, you're right. Pass and cycle it on your turn. On their turn. I'll play anything. Cord uh, Forbidden Friendship really messes up dead weight. There's a lot of cards that really mess up dead weight. Your turn. Hopefully they give you a nice juicy target for uh, weight. Nope. Please play something with two toughness. Okay, cycle coordinated charge. Oh, man, I guess I got a dark bargain here. There's not much else I can do. It's got in its instant speed, so I would wait till their turn. Okay. Uh, someone's saying wait the dino to eliminate a mutate target. I don't mind that. But out of the red deck, I would probably wait for them to mutate and then dead weight them because most of the red white mutate like mutate creatures um, have four toughness at most. So we've got double dead weight. We've got an answer for it. I can't debate the Marmoset. Uh, that's a pretty big... Make it a zero power. Huh? I would make it zero power. Okay. Well, should I Dark Bargain now, then? Yeah, dark Bargain. All right. Bargain and then dead weight on your turn. See what we can get. Let's find a card that hopefully does something. Got three humans here. Uh, ooh. Um, I would take the Bushmeat Poacher and the, and the Snare Tactician. Oh, shit. Nope. I was wrong. Sorry about that. That's fine. Man, I'm getting a lot, lot of lands here. Checkpoint. I can still do this one. This is going to be a big body, so I might as well. Yeah, so drop the poacher. Yeah, there we go. Make them have to cycle twice to, to kill it. Um, but you're not going to want to block the marmoset if they attack with the marmoset. Against red white cycling, so that marmoset they will likely be able to cycle twice and pump it. Yep, I'll um, kill one so of their little guys if they do attack with everything. No attacks. Oh shit! What do we got here? Oh boy, that's man. I'm getting nothing but lands here. Um, I guess I got to put down Swamp, Point Officer, and Dead Weight the Momentum one. Yeah. Rumble. Get a 1-1. One, one. Enjoy your 1-1 one, one first strike. Keep this for now. Not attack, probably. Hold back. Stay in this holding pattern. In a terrible spot, considering... Uh, Do you have any opinions off. on the uh, land distribution in hand so far? Because I know Ikoria has been pretty controversial in terms of uh, land or ran randomness. I, I feel like a lot of people are saying that you either get flood or starved uh, in most games. And I, I've definitely felt like there's 
a lot more of that kind of stuff um, going on now. I don't know if they've changed the shuffler or ah, anything. Shit. Um, I haven't noticed anything, but no, I'm not. Uh, this feels into pretty bad. If I get a land next turn, I think I might be dead. We'll no, no, no. You've got the checkpoint officer. You're going to hold that tiger off forever. Day Squad Marshal. Okay. Excellent. Okay, let's play a land. Let's play the Day Squad Marshal. And then just leave up checkpoint officer on your opponent's turn. Tap down the tiger. Before yeah, they tap. that's definitely the smart way to go. Next. No attacks. End turn. And I'm going to tap that thing as soon as I can. Burp, 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 shim, burp, burp. Oh, and yeah. you're going to want to um, eat human with the bushmeat poacher. Draw a card, gain a life. And okay. just start kind of pulling ahead advantage. Okay, so let's tap down that tiger. And sacrifice. Don't do the sacking until after um, they don't attack you. Hopefully they won't attack you. I don't know why they would. I have no good attacks, so hopefully they won't. No attacks, and then on your... Uh, on your go for blood. Step. Okay, well, I'm going to sacrifice him anyway, so... Sack the checkpoint officer. Yep. Could have just... Well... They were going to kill him anyway, so... Ah, oh, here we go. Flourishing Fox. Man, fucking land, 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 land. This is not... This is not going well. Just past the turn. That's where we're at. Pretty much all I can do. They have a, a pretty significant advantage here, so... No attacks. Um, you've still got the poacher, so you can grind your way out of this. But it... A pretty egregious mistake on Wizard's part. Um, honestly, there are maybe like six or seven cycling payoffs that are way better than any of the other payoffs that the other colors get, and they all have cycling too. So they're they're all payoff and um, enabler at the same time. It, it's a really weird design decision. Oh, um, I would eat your human. Oh, blade blade, blade banish. banish. Um, Ooh, so we can get Trixie here. Um, I can do uh, unlike the eight onto the Patagia, Pat Patagia and then Blade Banish yeah. him. Um, I wouldn't do that yet. Keep it in your back. Keep it in mind. Might be something we need to do at some point. I wouldn't do it now. They're both so, instants, though, so we'll see what he if he plays a trick, but he has a pretty significant card advantage on me right now. Yeah, I, I just don't want a two-for-one yourself because that Flourishing Fox can easily become a four-four all by itself. Um, let's pass. They're going to attack you with the tiger. Let it Just go for now. The yep. And yep. then eat your human this time. Okay. And you can do it now. They, they've already attacked. It doesn't much matter. Ooh, my own tiger. Oh, well, hello. What do we... Your what? tiger can block their tiger. So now we probably don't need to do that um, ridiculous move we talked about before. Just play your tiger on on your turn. Still have outs here. Like you've got an eight eight. No. Death toucher. Ah. No no no. Unlikely eight. But... Well, deals damage to target each will equal... indestructible. Oh yeah yeah okay. And then gain in life. We can do this. Cool, great. Play the kitty cat. Play the bigger kitty cat. You can even attack with your day squad marshal if you want to, but I, I probably wouldn't. They would probably just be dead, right? I assume. That's not that well, your tiger is going to make it a 5-5. Five, five. Okay, yeah. Yeah, but it's no... Oh, those chump it, I assume, but might as well. You could also... Wouldn't do... No, no. Don't do anything. I was going to say you could sack it and gain five, but that's that's too tricky. I can I attack, attack and then I can attack and then second. Yeah, let's not let's not sack it. We need these bodies for blocking. All right. Life isn't that big of a deal, and and you're not gonna kill it with you're not gonna kill them with your day squad marshal. Um, you need to just basically sit back. There we go. Pacifism. Value. Okay. Ugh. Bleh. It's annoying. Um, eat him. I can sack him though. Or, no, I can't sack him. Sack him yet? Let him attack and then sack it. Leave up the bushmeat poacher for now, and then on. So now second. 
Yeah, now sack that tiger. You got your own pacifism somewhere. Wait a minute. Who's looking for it? There you go. I mean, you you just do it before the end of the turn. At there some point. Sacrifice. Yeah. Meat poacher. Yum yum. Pacifism. That's not bad. I have enough to cast anything I want to, so I can do. Pacify that tiger. Yeah, might as well. Enchantment aura. Blah blah blah. Sonorous Hellbounder. I think oh, we're how? we're getting to a point where this is going to be a stalemate, but I think we're both. He's already got such a big advantage that. Oh, shit. really? I mean, at this point, you could probably start attacking with your day squad marshal, but I, I don't. I I don't see a reason to let them play their cycling cards on their flourishing fox. I don't attack, attack. Attack with the garrison, right? Oh, want humans, right? I, no, don't do it yet. Okay. Don't do it yet, because you're going to want to sacrifice the garrison cat to the nope. bush meat poacher. Um, and just keep drawing cards. Don't don't attack. Attacks. Just sitting back. We're eating cats. Cats and humans today. Well, I can sure. blade finish this one at least, so... Can. I would save it though. Don't don't spend it yet, because that flourishing fox um, can get out of hand in a way that the tigerilla can't. Oh, you should have eaten the. It's fine. Sorry. Um, you're good. Um, play the bushmeat poacher. Then you can attack with the hellbonder. It needs to be triple blocked. Just and attack with the hellbonder. Him. And sack it if they if they actually do the triple block. You don't want to kill their thing. If they triple block. You could also, depending on how they block, if they block with some crappy creatures. You can blade banish the Tigerilla. Or um, I would kill the dinosaur and the human. Just like just kill him. Alright. Kill the the marmoset. That's fine. There's... You said you said three different things. I know. No. It's indecisive there. Let's just kill him. Okay, should I sack it now, I assume? And now sack it. Yeah, sack it. Ooh, General Cool. In there. Okay, cool. Peace. Fine. Get First your things. Strike damage next. Um, let's drop General Kud I mean, yeah, General Kudro. Yeah. What's he well, do again? Uh, he gets uh, other humans in control, get plus one, plus one. And you destroy uh, creatures with power of two or great. Uh, exile target graveyard. creature from opponent's graveyard. I don't. Right. That's not gonna be a big deal right now, but I can get rid of passive. Eh, I don't know. Doesn't Obama's really matter second. so much. Um, we want to get rid of cycling cards because they might have zenith flare. We don't want them to be flaring. Our True enough. Shit. Face mostly. Let's get rid of cyclers when we can. Given the choice. Pass. Are we attacking? Opponent. Howard. Oh wow, that was unexpected. Holy shit. Yeah. I don't know what that was. I feel like he was pretty <laughs> in a pretty commanding position there, and I don't know why he did that, but uh We're that not, was actually that was interesting. I mean, it felt pretty even to me, but I yeah. don't quite. I couldn't have like gone. Maybe he just got bored. I don't know. That I was... think that we were in a spot where we we were just gonna keep uh, sacking things and gaining small advantages over and over and over again. After you played General Kudro, creatures were gonna start outsizing theirs. Um, you had another human pump, so that game. The longer it went, the more you were gonna win. Um, and they, I guess, didn't want to try and win anymore. Somebody said in chat, uh, bladder-based victory. That does happen to me, at least. I definitely do concede sometimes when I have to uh, go pee. So I'm going to um, I'm gonna go and let uh, uh, Ben take over here. I'm going to maybe finish up some of these uh, matches later on. But uh, this is uh, past time for Ben. So Ben is going to take over. Thank you for joining me, Gino, uh, uh, that Pinguino. And I'm going to go ahead and... Finish this one up, and we're going to let Ben take over. Thank you so much for joining me.
course. Thank you, as always. I won too. That's more than I. That's more than I've won before. So. And the one you lost, you couldn't play any cards. So right, that's very true. All right, thanks. I'm gonna go and uh, stop the stream, uh, stop recording, and I'm gonna stop streaming. And Ben will be up next with some Fallout 2.